All right, we're gonna make some felted soaps. These make a great Christmas present, birthday present. Um, they're really fun to make. They're pretty quick to make as well. And it's something that you can do um, with your children. Um, so this is what we're aiming for. Of course, these um, sprigs on here are just for decoration, but we have a nice felted soap here. And so that's what we're going for. The materials that you're gonna need is you're gonna need some kind of a soap. This is just your regular run-of-the-mill soap. Um, I would suggest a hard soap. I, I think a soap like a glycerin soap might be, um, it might not last as long, so try to get a, a good hard soap. You're gonna need some roving, and it doesn't have to be um, a, a nice, you know, merino, something you would, you would spin. This is particularly, um, roving that I had made for felting. Um, so it's a little bit more coarse. Of course, that is available in my web store and um, a um, knee-high stocking. All right, okay. So, oh, you're also gonna need a basin full of water or you can do this in, um, in your sink. So, I'm gonna show you today on a basin, but it's just as easy to do it in the sink. All right, I'm gonna start with my green. What you're putting down in the bottom layer is gonna be the outside of your soap. You're gonna put your, your hands about six inches apart and you're gonna pull off a piece. And when you pull off a piece, there's gonna be a raggedy side and there's gonna be a, um, a straight side. So all the straight sides are gonna go on the outside of our soap here. So I'm gonna do this again, and I'm gonna slightly overlay it. And then when I do the bottom, I'm gonna turn it over. And again, I'm gonna slightly overlay it. So I have, I have a straight edge up on this side, I have a straight edge on this side. I'm gonna do one more here and I'm gonna put that down. It seems like it's a little bit weak in this area, so I'm gonna just take another tiny little bit and put this here. So I've made all of these fibers go, I'm gonna say in a vertical way, all right? Look at how my hands are going. Now in my second layer, I'm gonna go the opposite way. I'm gonna layer it this way, okay? I'm gonna use the white for that so that you can see the difference. Again, you're gonna put your hands, you know, four to six inches apart, you're gonna pull it, and you're gonna lay it down with the straight side to the edge and your kind of funny side on the in the center. Do it again. And I'm gonna do it one more time here. Okay, now I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna turn these over. So again, I have the straight side on the edge. And I'm gonna fill it in like that. And I think that looks pretty good. It feels nice and thick. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soap and we're gonna lay it in our roving. And you're gonna have a lot of overhang here. And you can see that, you can, you can see the, the, the white roving coming through a little bit. I kinda like that. Um, if you, you can, uh, you know, one variation would be you could do uh, green with a blue underneath. You can, anything that would be two color. So there's my packet ready to go. I'm gonna move in my water basin here. There's my packet. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the water first. Get it kind of saturated. And then I'm going to just kind of move this around because I do have some excess here. If I just went ahead and put this dry in the stocking, um, it kind of moves the, 
the roving around and it's, um, it's not as appealing. This makes it kind of easy. And I'm just patting it here just to kind of get it into a shape like that. All right, now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna move this out of the way again. So here's this, I'm gonna take my nylon, my knee high. I'm gonna go down all the way to the toe like this. So I have my toe and I'm gonna put it, the soap all the way to the bottom like that. All right, I'm gonna tie a loose knot in it. If you wanted to, you could probably do, you know, put another another soap in here and do them both at the same time. And as you can see, this is kind of lumpy here, um, but it will work itself out. Okay, move in the soap, back, the basin back in. All right, this basin is um, warm water. Um, you can use warm or cold, but warm will speed up the process. So basically, I'm rubbing with my fingers here, rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And what that does is that it it makes all those little barbs, little scales that are on the wool kind of open up. And then they're gonna interlock with each other. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And I wanna say, make sure you pay attention to all of the edges. So get all, get the top of it. Get the bottom where the knot is. And you're just gonna keep rubbing like this. You're gonna do this for about four or five minutes. And all the while, the so the, the fibers of the wool are making connections with each other. They're kind of going on little dates. They're getting closer and closer, and it will become tight around your soap. Again, like this is really good. Like, if you have a problem getting your kids to wash their hands, especially in this, you know, COVID pandemic thing, just have them make some of these soaps because it takes longer than you know you're singing happy birthday. That's for sure. And they'll have nice clean hands at the end. Everything, you know. It gets under your fingernails clean. And this is why I say, look at look at all the suds in here. Using a hard soap is really um, a, a good idea. Because you don't want the soap to be melting away as you're doing this. And sometimes glycerin kinds of soaps can do that. So I'm just continuing to do this. So let's, while, while I'm doing this, and maybe you're following along with me and doing it at the same time, um, let's talk about some of the variations that you can do. You can put in some, like some glitzy, like Angelina um, in there. You can, like what I did with the two models that I have, you can, you know, put a little, bow that is also wool and uh, felt that in. You can make a multiple color one, especially if you're doing this with your children. Um, instead of having the whole green that I had on the bottom, you can have it multicolored so that each one of those um, six pieces was, would be a different color. And that would be really pretty too. You can make it two color, like I said, with, you know, like a green uh, on one layer, a blue on the other, and you have that, some of that showing through. Now already I can feel that this has, this has pretty much felted on there. I still have some edge, edge issues right, right around this knot just because I didn't pay enough attention to it. So I'm gonna work this in here. You could, um, use uh, like some sequins. You could even, you know, embed some of those in between the two layers. Remember, people are, are also gonna use this as soap. So think about, do you want the sequins in your, um, in your shower or whatnot? But it would be really pretty. Um, 
just so many, you can just be so creative with this. And it's a good way to use up odds and ends of um, different yarns that you have for decoration. Or um, if you have some roving that you didn't quite get all spun up, that could be good too. So I can feel the difference and you can probably see it feels, it feels very, um, there's a little bit of lumps there, but it feels like it's really um, adhered almost to the soap. So I'm gonna open it up. And take it out. Come on. And it looks good already. I'm gonna just gonna do a couple of more rounds, um, especially on those upper parts, the top and the bottom, where I have a little bit more roving there and I just want to make that a little bit more um, even and the more that you work with it the more it will um, shrink to fit over your soap and the fun thing is is that as you use this in the in the shower or the bathtub it will continue to felt until the soap is all gone. So there you have it. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna set this aside and let it dry. And after it dries, then you can add in your bows. You can add in you know, anything that you want to, to have um, on the outside. That's how you make Belted soap.